Welcome back to Romero Mode. Hello there. You want to say hi as well? Yes, we're just going to start off. We're going to say hi. Hello, putrid girl. There we go. Head exploded four face. Perfect start. Anyway, what are we doing here in front of the Shotgun Messiah? Well, we're not here for the Shotgun Messiah. We're here for this. For this beauty, the rusted shopping cart. So we were looking at making the bicycle bike and um, we didn't have all the parts. We're still missing a wheelie wheel. And I thought, okay, you know, what else can we do? And I remembered reading something that I think in Darkness Falls it has as well is the Guppy shopping cart. So I think I have all the parts with me. We're going to pick this up. So you pick up any of the these wagon things, these shopping trolleys, and you can make a pushable shopping cart. You just need a roasted shopping cart and some oil. And that actually works like a vehicle, as far as I know. So, well, we shall be proven wrong or right. So let's go. Let's see if that works. And we can place it down. And we should be able to enter it. <laughs> It's, it's our first vehicle. Okay, it's a terrible vehicle. I changed my mind. It's terrible. Uh, okay, it doesn't go well in reverse. Is it a little faster than walking? I don't know, but it doesn't really steer well. It doesn't seem to work well in reverse, though, or actually turn a tight corner. So it's really terrible for turning, which means you're going to have to keep picking it up, which you can't do if it's not empty. So maybe it's a no-go. I don't know. But I think it's really awesome that it's actually included in the mod in the first place. Anyway, I forgot you guys are only taking damage when you go right for the foreface. There you go. Hello, Charlie. Welcome to the game. So walking past a passing gas would have been nice, but there seems to be absolutely no gas stations here. I noticed that everything we've seen so far, there's no gas station, unless there was one at some point we have missed, but I don't remember a gas station anywhere. So that will make things a little bit more difficult. However, we should have some of the random boxes there. We should have find acid eventually in the kitchen. So yeah, kitchen, sinks, anywhere, in any room, the sinks should usually have a chance of giving us acid or even the tumble dryers or whatever they are, the washing machines. So we're just gonna have to keep looting. There's a passing gas. Oh, speak of the devil, look at this. That is amazing. Let's go right over there. I know our quest is over there, but the passing gas is of more interest to us because that is where we hopefully will be able to find some wheels. That would be so sweet. Should have brought the bicycle parts with me. I was contemplating that and then I was thinking no, because then I have bicycle parts with me and if I don't find a wheel, I'm gonna have them on me and I'm gonna be all over incorporated again. So let's just do this here. Very good. Hello, Charlie, how are you doing? Yeah, take it easy. Lie down, take a chill pill. There we go. Okay, just going for the foreface. What do we have here? Oh, a vending machine that actually works. Sugar butts, yes. We're gonna have to buy that for um, when we go to the trader. Definitely sugar butts and Skull Crusher. Yes, okay, let's go. Skull Crusher Reno, let's see if that works. Oh yeah, five minutes of pure insanity. Let's go. Okay, I hope it's gonna work. Well, you see, oh, 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 hello. There we go. She was very intrigued. She saw me popping pills and he was like, oh, oh, do you have some spare? Do you have some spare? No? I don't really see an increase in uh, <laughs> in damage, but that could be just because everything is headshots only. Oh, that was beautiful though. That was like so sexy. There we go. Well, that was a glancing blow if there ever was one. That was like barely a piece of wind, like whoo, that barely touches four cheeks. Okay, here we go. Where are they? Oh, I see some boxerinos down there. That's gonna be amazing. And do we have any doggy dogs in the background? Any dogs? No, okay, let's get it all out of the system right now. There we go, nice and beautiful. Okay, we have a car here. Maybe we find some wheels or assets in there. Let's see if we get lucky. Okay, I take it. Awareness, nice, we got some seeds. That is really good. Okay, okay, somebody's coming through here. Can we just open the side door for you guys? No, okay, let's go down here. I don't want to be, oh, nice. Okay, so let's go down here and check out what else we have. Okay, oh, yes. There Oh, okay. Hello, Egger. Ooh, yes! Mmm, so satisfying. There we go. Missed me, baby. All right. Are we gonna get lucky? Acid or wheels? Car parts. Boom. <gasps> That's not car parts. That was steel parts. You got the wrong parts, man. You lied to me. Okay, let's go down here and see what happens. Bam. Okay, I think they all came upstairs, which is great. And I don't think there's any more hidden area or here or anything. Is there something here, maybe? No. Okay, working tool stiffy, what do you got? What do you have? Ah, oh, we have a battery, an anvil, and some more motor tool parts. Well, that's not bad, but it's not what I was looking for. No dodgy wall pieces. Oh, nice, that's good. Oh, 
There we go. Love it. When that head explodes completely randomly. How are you enjoying that, baby? How are you enjoying that, Charlie? Hey, come down here. Come on, let's talk. Don't be like that. Okay, you just... Oh, crap. I can't jump over them. I can't jump over them to get out. I'm pinned, sir. I'm pinned. There we go. Now we can get out. Oh, there's a bag. Okay, what do we have? Oh, look at that. Where? Beautiful. Oh, nice. That was really nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're going to modify that. Take that out. Thank you very much. Scrub that. And we can put that right into that upgrade. That is beautiful. That was worth it all the way. Now, is there anything else? That shelf? I think one of the shelves might be lootable still. Okay, we have nine seconds left. Nine seconds. There we go. Let's quickly check out the shelf. Oh, oh, a hammer. That's actually not bad. Spare hammer is always good, especially when we're, we're crafting on the workbench. But there's nothing else in here. Nope, no Bruni, but we're going to take apart this workbench, which is going to be very good for parts. The only thing left maybe is... Um, oh, is that another passing gas over there? Are you kidding me? There's a big passing gas over there. So what I'm doing here in the small one, there's actually a working chemistry station here, which is really, really cool. And we probably should mark that on the map. There we go. Safe wave point. Kemi station. Ooh, look at that. We got some guys. We got a couple of boxes here. So between these boxes and the gas station across the street, surely we're going to find something nice. Ooh, yes. Sexy time. There we go. Beautiful. Hello there. How are you doing? Yes. Oh, hello. Look at that. Nice burning shaft. Can we please put that on there? That would be amazing. Oh, we can't. Okay, nice. Explosives. A little bit of a pill. Very good. It's good to cure fatigue. Very nice. And what do we have in here? Please, 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 please. A wheel, a wheel, a wheel. Oh, 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 did you see that? Wow. That is amazing. Now we can get over to the quest do the quest and then we're gonna head over to the trader and then we finally have our bike. That is amazing. If we can today accomplish getting bikey, that would be absolutely fantastical. Before we're gonna start that quest, let's actually put everything into that shopping trolley. Beautiful, we might throw out some things, but for now, this will have to do. So this is a fallen street lamp. I think the tip of the steel lamps, uh, of the street lamps actually gives steel. There we go, I think that is steel, not forged iron. Yes, early game steel, very beautiful. So the official entry actually, I think, to this house or the proper one is over here. Just in case we come across any birds. Is it? No, it's not here. It's actually over the roof, okay. No birds. No birds, okay, very good. I like it, I love it. No winged dogs. Okay, here we have to be careful. This actually will collapse. So you might as well give it a smack right now. And then we can take out the frame and just make a way across. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's see what's in the bag. Oh, yes. Food. Let's eat, 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 eat. So I actually was able to make a staircase, kind of, so we can get straight back out. We might want to actually take away the window up here so we can jump up without a problem. There we go. Beautiful. So let's go inside and let's see what this is all about. There we nice. Gets rid of the glass. We don't have to worry about running zombies, but we have to worry about hordes of zombies. Oh, nice. Look at that. Beautiful. We read that. Nice. Brass is the new gold in the wasteland because of what the bullets are made from. Find more brass. Also, in the actual gas station in the basement where we found that one box um, underneath the car, there is some of these golden rings you see around the pipes. If you actually use your uh, wrench on that, you will get brass. Look at that. Nice. Okay. So let's go full on. Oh, I was just about to say, is there not a single zombie in here? There might be a dog in here as well, so we have to be careful. Let's go straight for the White River Supply. Let's not waste even any time with anything. Well, we want to get some of the good loot, like books and stuff like that, so we're not going to say no to that. There we go, very nice. How are you doing? Nice. I thought we could do a sneak damage on him, but that didn't work out too well. Nice! Okay. Oh, yes. Look at that. We're going to pick up the secret stuff on the... Oh, that is perfect for when we're walking back. Absolutely perfect. Okay, what do we have here? Nobody in here. Very good. Okay, we don't need that. Oh, that is very good. Usually there's a zombie right there. 
Oh, good food. Nice. There we go. Yeah, we don't really need that. So we can drop that. But we're going to eat that. That is for sure. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that. It's already right here. So we can leave anytime. <gasps> Nerdy glasses. I think we're already wearing them, actually. So, yes, we are. Okay, so we can actually sell them. That is very good. Anything behind here? No, we have some lock picks as well. Oh, actually, is that something we can wear? It's cold resistance, heat resistance. No, I think heat resistance is more important. We don't really get cold here, but we usually have some problems with heat. Also, we probably want to take the bed apart because we want to get the um, feathers or the springs. There we go. Very good. So we actually are already done. We could be returning to the trader right now, which means we can take ourselves some sweet ass time and check out the place and definitely get to the main loot. A little bit of cobblestone rocks. Very good. Not going to say no to that. Now, we don't have to do anything with Horde Knight for this mod, which is really, really cool because we can just like, you know, build a base, have the roaming hordes come and have constant fun. But we play in the big city uh, series as well, of course, where we're going to have Horde Knights, crazy Horde Knights. And we actually figured out um, a nice little electricity trap. Oh, there's a dog in there. We're going to have to be careful about that. The dog will come out the moment you step back. Hang on a second. I'm glad I knew that. This dog gives me a heart attack every single time because I forget about it. It's only that we recently had this house in um, one of the other series we were playing. I don't know if it was even in this one. And it only is just fresh in my mind that this dog is actually coming out of here. Okay. Very nice. So let's get all the dirty meat. Very good. Loads of bones. Very good for making glue. Oh, yes. Nice. Killing that fatigue. Oh, bullets as well. What do we got in here? And, oh, look at that. Level 4 bow. And, oh, yes. That is sweet. This one here, we probably... Okay, I'm going to waste the repair kit just to see how much money this is going to be going to. Scrap those for paper. This is going to 172. That is actually not bad. If we can find a mod that we can put in there, this is going to be worth like 400 quid. Easy. Okay, so let's see what else we got in here. We got a working... Oh, working stiffy crate. Okay. Ooh, okay. Look at that. Yeah, we should probably put that into the forge, but right now I'm just going to scrap it. It gives me 37. That's not... Oh, it's a scrap iron axe. I was just thinking, like, that's very little for an iron axe. Okay, I think that's really all we needed from here. I don't think we have to look further, but we're going anyway. Let's get through here and let's get out of the house. Okay, we have some friends over here. Oh, there's a feral. Oh, yes, exploding four phases. Yes, I forgot actually we have things that can be set on fire. That is nice. Okay, here we go. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. In your golden in your golden green eyes, I nearly said. Into your golden beautiful pearls. There we go. Look at that. You saw that coming. It went right for the four face. And you as well? Nice. Oh, beautiful. Charlie, 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 you're gonna have to Okay, listen, listen, Charlie. There we go. Let's see if we can at least get a couple of shots off here. Nice. There we go. Fred is next. Charlie, your second. Beautiful. I love it. And there's going to be a lot of them. If they spawned a roaming horde in right now, then we are going to be in deep trouble. Okay. Is there anybody down here? They're coming in through the outside. That's okay, as long as we get to loot a little bit more. There we go. Get some food. Very nice. Might as well eat it right now. Could have some acid in here, actually. Oh. Whoa! That was a close one. And I missed every single shot after that. <laughs> oh! Holy crap, Apple. How did this guy not get me? Okay. Okay, hang on. Let me reload here for a second. There's beautiful. Look at that fountain. What do we have in here? If we find some... Oh, yes. Beautiful. That is amazing. We can throw out the sea. Oh, here we go. Bottle of acid. Very good because we want to make our motorbikey. We want to be able to um, make more wheels if we don't find any. But there's a big gas station as well there, which we're going to focus on at some point. Anything in here? Oh, he gave me fright. He was looking right at me. I thought they had Charlie right there in the box. Okay. 
good, good, good. It's getting a bit stressful now because it actually there's a few guys in here now. Let's see if there's another bookshelf we can take with us. Oh, nice. They actually made an entrance so we can leave right through here. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Why is there a horde knight tonight? That doesn't make any sense. Why is there the seven red? So I actually just went back and made sure that I have set it to disabled. So in the options, I definitely have it set to disabled. I actually put it to zero days, loaded in, and it still was red. Then I went to disabled again and loaded back in and still red. So either option is red. So we're just gonna have to see if we get a horde knight. If we get a horde knight, we just try to play it. I mean, simple as that. Ah, crap, we have a wolf. Ah, crap. I think we're gonna die. I think we're gonna die. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. A wolf is a wolf. That's it. Especially if it's a dire wolf. Never mind the headshots. That guy is just gonna look at you. Dude, why are you fluffing petting me? <laughs> Get your hands off me. Okay, at least we're not too far away. And it looks like Wolfie is actually busy over there. Unless that's the second wolf. So let's just leg it and run for it. Oh, that is a separate wolf. I think I can still see the wolf. Yeah, there he is. We're gonna die again. We're just gonna have to see if we can quickly. Come on, quick. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, little bastard. Whew. Okay, nice. Let's see, do we have anything to heal here besides the bandages? Well, do you know what? I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just, that was amazing. I'm just gonna walk over to the trader we're gonna sell our stuff, then we're gonna go home, lick our wounds. So this is all the things we're gonna uh, sell, but before we sell anything, we have a couple of mods here. So let's go and see if we can put both of them in here. It's 378, boom, 584. Very, very nice. We're also gonna sell the nerdy classes because we have one on us, another one in a chest. So this one we can sell, no problem. So this is all gonna be sold to the trader. Very, very nice. We're gonna take the sugar butts before we do. Is there anything else we wanna get rid of while we're there? I don't think so. It's actually, is there anything here? Um, steel club parts. Yeah, we, we're not gonna make actually any steel clubs, so we can sell that. Uh, knuckle parts, definitely gonna keep that. Shotguns, we're not gonna play with shotguns, so we can sell that. Rocket launchers, we might just do just for the fun of it. And that is it. Look at that, beautiful. Motor tool parts and all this stuff here. Tem tempered plates. Sure, the degradation and the block damage is nice. Actually, we can put that probably on our tools, if that works. Let me see. Um, excellent. That works beautifully and it increases the block damage. And we cannot put that here. Can we put that on a shovel maybe? There you go, that's nice. And um, this, I think we can sell to be honest if we get a, a melee weapon to sell because bleed damage, it doesn't really do much. I think it just takes away as one damage a second or something. It's like really, really slow or one damage it takes. So, oh, let's get the bicycle ready and cycle over to the trader. And here we go, nice, plonky plonk. And beautiful storage, very nice, absolutely love it. This is gonna be the next game changer, having the bike here. And again, I'm not sure about Horde Knight. We're gonna see what happens, but first things first, let's use this. Also, while we use this, let's actually have a quick look and see if there's any more of those uh, that we want to buy. Health bars, really, really nice. Maximum health, crit resist, that is really good for Horde Knight. And did we get them cheaper? I don't think we did. Oh, okay, so the money is not gonna come off the vending machine goods. That is interesting. Oh, actually, hang on a second. We haven't handed it in yet. So let's see if we can increase our daring adventurer again by one. That is level four, we're level three. Ooh, okay, so we can put two into four, but that would be it. Yeah, okay, so I thought we could maybe see if we get a better reward, but hey, that is amazing, nice, exactly what I was looking for. Oh, Grandpa's awesome sauce. Reading the recipe will teach you how to craft this item. Is that the experience one? Um, okay, let's just buy it and see what is this use tired of getting bent by those pesky traders Take a shot at grandpa's awesome says to get a better deal. Oh nice. We're just gonna take the next uh, quest Oh nice 320 meters a buried supply. That is amazing. We're gonna do that. Yeah, so I just had a quick look through here There actually is no electricity stuff. Oh, there's a meat stew actually. Let's, let's get that. Why not? So what we might want to do is take this intellect and see if we can go into advanced engineering a little bit more because then we can make 
Electrish, electrical fences. I know weapon-wise we're going to play with pow pow fisties and machine guns, but it's going to be a while before we get an AK-47 anyway, so we might as well see. This is intellect level 6, so why don't we keep dumping points into intellect, which is now 4, which is great. So the next point we're going to get, we can up our advanced engineering, our grease monkey for the mini bike, and we're going to be a little bit more successful then. And then we can put also Daring Adventure. I think we're going to need to go a little bit more into that as well. And then hopefully we're going to find um, the AK-47 or some similar loot. Is there not something called Looter? Let me see. Is that Perception? Oh, Lucky Looter. You get a slim chance to find better loot. I think we should probably do at least two points in this as well. I think that would be really, really helpful. Anyway, guys. I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.